Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe, my friends. Today, we have a top 50 Niv-Mizzet or five-color Niv-Mizzet deck here uh, for you on Historic. This one by Kiori, a very fast July Mythic season. Um, and Rush with this deck, absolutely pumped to be covering this here today because I know it's a very, very popular deck. So appreciate you tuning in, friends. Flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. On top of that, um, down below, let me know if you got questions, if you got comments, in the description you will find the deck list um, on top of that the discord server information for those questions if you don't want to ask down below and on top of that the timestamps where we will cover the strategy objective of this list we'll go into boarding for best of three we'll play that competitive magic here for you today and both best of one and best of three and then we'll give you a little bit of a retrospective on where this deck might sit in today's meta um, so very, very excited and, and pumped like I said to be playing our niv Mizzet deck here today so um with that, um, other great ways to support the channel down below, but let's go ahead and get moving here on our five color Niv Mizzet deck. So, there is so much going on in this deck tons of one offs, tons of different things. I'm not going to go through it, but essentially, not all of it in detail, but essentially, you're going to have an answer for pretty much anything in this board, um, which you just need to know that. Um, and the big piece here is really Niv Mizzet Reborn. So, once you get your five colors on, you get your lovely legendary creature dragon avatar here, Niv. Uh, move in. When it enters, we get a look at the top 10 cards of our library. So, this is going to be a pounding through. Um, ideally, you're going to have about one, uh, you're going to go through one fifth of your deck um, or a little bit more than that. Um, and for each color pair, we get to choose a card that's exactly those colors from among them, put those cards in our hand, the rest of the bottom of our library in a random order. So once you get there, this thing's an absolute house. Um, you can go find your board wipes, you can find your direct damage spells, um, you can find your graveyard hate, you can find your draw hate, um, or removal from their hands, or those kinds of things. Thought distortion here is ridiculous. Um, always a fun card. The spell can't be countered. Target opponent reveals their hand. Exile all non-creature, non-land cards from that player's hand graveyard. Absolutely destroys your control decks. Um, so that is what this deck is all about. It's really kind of a late game deck. Um, or mid-range to late game because you're getting some of the ramp here um, with it. But that's the big thing to understand. Once you get your five colors, which is going to be a big piece here, let's go ahead. You're going to have a whole host of opportunities to get there uh, with all these things going on um, to make it safe and make it good. We're going to flip in those uh, lovely skins. Um, that is what's going to happen. So absolutely a powerhouse deck. Um, certainly fun to play. Um, takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get used to it once you kind of know what's going on here. Um, you'll you'll see how it really comes over the top on your opponent. So um, Planeswalkers, again, if you got questions, if you got comments, let me know. That is the strategy objective of this list uh, with Niv, Mizzet, Reborn here, five colors. Again, this top 50 deck by Kiori. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about our sideboarding because uh, there is a lot going on here um, in terms of what we need to do and how we need to play. Uh, biggest pieces here, we're going to break it down for you in aggro, mid-range, and late game. So those aggro decks are things like Mono Red Burn, Mono Red, Mono White. Um, we also have our Mono Black um, in this space. we got Elves. Um, very, very fast decks. Gabos, um, those kinds of things here as well. So biggest pieces are you're going to want to be able to take things off the board or slow things down. Legion War Boss is something that can help you with that. Um, other things here. Um, really uh, locking them out with Gra Graf Digger's Cage so you can stop some of the pull with, um, excuse me, um, with with our friend uh, Muxus, those kinds of things. Other things that you have to worry about um, in terms of graveyard um, that they might be pulling back, those kinds of things if you need. But the biggest piece here is really Legion War Boss. Um, Croxa is a big one. Kaya or uh, Orzov Usurper can help you too, because um, here you can get um, target non-land permanent with mana value one or less. Now uh, that can certainly be big against things like like goblins and elves um, and and those things. So we do have a just a powerhouse of things uh, when it comes to aggro. You just need to survive the first couple of turns and get things off, and you'll be just fine. Um, then when we move into mid range, these are going to be kind of the Slesnia decks. You got Coco. You got um, your Celestia Angels decks. Um, also, we begin to run into our Arcanist decks, Rakdos Arcanist, um, also Grixis Arcanist, and also, um, can't forget, we have the Rogues decks here as well. Um, also in this space, I forgot, uh, in, in the traditional aggro, we got Ghoul aggro, 
Um, we also begin to run into junk food. We have our Is It Phoenix decks here as well um, are some of importance uh, to keep in mind. And then also kind of Azorus Auras kind of straddles that aggro to uh, aggro up to mid-range there as well um here again if they're not really playing a uh, bunch of creatures um start to think about dovin's veto graph diggers again is going to be big to lock them out uh, mystical disputes if you need as well um but if they begin to get a little bit further up that control chain thought distortion is a good one to move in unmoored ego is a good one to move in um, as well um, and, and play from there, my friends. Now, as we move into late game, though, this is a little bit different. So you're going to run into our Jeskai control. I've also seen Grixis control make it a comeback. We have Dimmer control from the MPL weekend. Um, and again, other late game decks like Five Color and Admizit here um, that you want to keep in mind. Here, we're going to begin to think about Dovin's Veto. Um, you'll also think about the Mystical Disputes, Onward Ego, again, to pull something out, rip it from your opponent's hand, then go grab the rest. Um, and exile them, and then that player's going to shuffle and draw a card for each card exiled this way. So um, very, very important to dot distortion again as well. That's what you're going to want to think about moving in <laughs> here. Um, what you're going to start to move out is things like this, exiling mono colored permit. Um, if it doesn't hit anything, um, again, destroying target creature or returning target creature uh, to its owner's hand. Now you can do this and pop your own guy back, so be careful on that. Um, don't forget, Lightning Helix can be one. Again, if you don't need to kill creatures, um, that's where you're gonna focus is really trading here um, in that early space. So Planeswalkers, that is the strategy objective of this list. We covered your boarding for best of three against aggro, mid-range, and late game. Let's go pound it out with our Niv Visit Reborn deck here today. So excited to be playing this. Um, so let's go and make haste um, and have some fun. So yesterday we did the Mono Red Burn deck. Today we're doing our five color Niv Visit. So let's take this thing to town. Now, again, if you have questions, if you have comments, Planeswalkers, please let me know. Happy to help. Um, and again, you can always get some swag. I do got a merch store down below. Is a great way to support the channel uh, as well. All right, MTG Predator. I yeah, apologize, I got a little bit of a cold here. I will keep this because we have Niv. Um, we don't have all the right makeup in terms of colors, but we'll try it. Again, destroy or return. Oh, that's not good. We'll pay the two. There we go. Gets us one more. Two, three, four. We just need red. Ooh, I don't know about that. We gotta have something in here, right? I actually think we do this. There we go. That's the right play. Now they have X proof. And let's get Niv, so we'll at least get to see how Niv works. Now again, we can pull Niv back here with Tyrant Scorn. Nail Storm Pulse. So let's think about this here. So we can play to Fury. We can wait a little bit on this. Let's grab that and that. Two, three, 
four, five, six. Apply thought distortion. So ideally, and graveyard. So this is our lockout. Players can't get counters. We can pop our guy back. Destroy artifact. Uh, target player discards a card. So let's grab this. Let's go. We'll keep making this bigger. There's our Niv Mizzet again. Oh yeah, we should have pumped that. We'll wait. We'll get him up to eight. Um, let's dump. Smith zero. Discard a card, and we'll get rid of Fatal Push. Should have played Thought Eraser. Sorry. We can't hit him though. That's actually the problem. No, oh, we can't. And destroy target artifact. We'll deal two there. Alright, so let's go with this. Still can't do that yet. Let's see, we can cycle. We can always return our guy. But wait. Oh. This is hardly my worst. Let's just cast it. Let's go with and destroy target artifact. Doesn't help. Oh, no enchantment hate. There we go, though. This card, that one. Wow, we got one already. <laughs> we get Croxa on, we can, they'll start dealing damage though, because they'll have to discard. Monocolored, here we go. I'll keep Nib in there. Let's get that thing off. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go two lands. One, two. All right, so what do we want to take out? Uh, can't gain counters, that's right. Shoot, could have flipped that one back in, I guess. We need to move quickly. Let's pop. Grab everything. Two or less. They're all three. And what do we got? Four cards. Destroy artifact. Skirt of Helix. Helix. Clarion. And. And 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 Prismari destroys artifacts too. Should have attacked in first, that's all right. We'll get there. So what do we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of this thing. Let's go one, two. Left to go. Good go one. There we go.
gotta skip to the good part. lands one whoop two there we go there we got it we came back <laughs> had to read all the cards there you go now you see it now you don't <laughs> Well, we actually got to really play through the Nibnizza deck, which is nice. So, um, very, very fun, tough deck. Um, once they get going and get you locked out, that nine lives deck can be pretty tricky. We had to slowly unwind each of those pieces um, and keep going from there. So, very, very fun, uh, my friends. All right, next, Zod. And yes, I know that wasn't perfect. <laughs> it happens. All right, we go first. I'm going to keep this because we have Vanishing... Ah, we don't have a ton of land, so I'm going to mulligan. Should have kept it, I guess. We'll keep this. Um, black, black, red. I'll get rid of that. I'm gonna grab red first. For Clarion. I'm I'm banking that they're gonna be fast. Ah. But they're gonna be fast. Now we're way off. There we go. Slip, maybe. Ooh. Oh. Let's see if we get away with it. There we go. Now, if we can get Klythos on, that's going to be big for us. I need a lamp, too. Uh-oh. They have it. They're going to get their Phoenix on. I should get Clythos on here too, by the way. But I think the right play is get this thing off now.
just need a blue source. Oh no! Ow! Can we pull out of here? We can't kill that with anything that we have here. <laughs> the only thing we could have done was play our mana differently and play Croxa. That's it. Is it Phoenix? Oh, all right. On to our next best of one match. Niv is it? X felon eighty three. All right. Oh, just missing black, but we can deal with this. There's our Niv Mizzet. Feel like we wait one turn. Here we go. Oh. We're hurting on our lands. go that's big for us <clears throat> here we go so what do we have blue we need to go grab our black let's put your sharn on let's grab White. What do we want to drop? Maybe thought distortion for now. Yes! 
<laughs> Niv is it. <laughs> that is a fun, feels good. All right, now we're going to go play best of three here. Let's see how this goes. Traditional historic ranked again. We did our mono red burn. Now our top 50. Niv miss it. So for those of you joining now in best of one, we did go two and one. Very, very awesome. Um, super, super fun. Glad I crafted my last two nibs just for you folks today. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Oof. We'll shake and bake. We'll play first. We can keep this. Triangle. Here we go. So right now we need a red. Oh, mono blue tempo. Oh, this might be a tough one for us. We needed the red, no matter what. We have the stuff. Problem is, they're going to have two counter spells. Which is what's going to be our problem here. To grab another red. There's all the counters. Ugh. This is where we're going to have to play and rip their hands. Absolutely. All right, we're going to try for Niv for fun. We'll show them the deck. They, they probably know anyway, since we got five lands.
We'll go to the next one. They had lethal there. All right, we're gonna grab this. Um, we're gonna grab both of these. We're gonna grab these, these, these. Um, we can grab this, this, these. So clings okay, fatal's good. Those are still good. The sparks worthless. Dash inverse is okay. Those are all okay. That's okay if we can hit. We can drop that. Get rid of that. Larian's good. Extinction events, okay. Bindings, okay. These are all good. This is gone. We need to get rid of seven cards. One Croxa. It's going to be expensive. I might get that out of there. These still deal damage. We need four more. It's expensive. Three more. We could totally pivot off of Niv too, but we're not going to do that. Um, monocolored. Let's get rid of the cling. And one more. Let's go with that one. All right, we'll try this. If we can rip them, keep the stuff off the board, we'll be okay. Oh, this is so bad. I'm going to keep it, though. Just can't let anything hit the board. There we go. All right, we're missing a red. I'm going to slip this. Because <clears throat> now we got enough for Niv. Uh, one, two. This could get slipped too. Let's nib miss it. it. Bam! <laughs> yes! Yes! We'll take it. Even though they didn't have the best start, we will absolutely take that. We kept a land hand with one. 
Counterspell. One slip. Huge, huge, huge there. That was big. I like that. We are definitely keeping. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. All right, we will keep this. Um, if we can get these on, I don't know, we'll see. I doubt this one, even though everything's one. Even though everything's one. Uh, uh. <laughs> I feel like Spiral's the one to get rid of. Yes! They were just mad. They were mad. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we will take it. Oh, we will take it. They were not happy. They were not happy. We stuck in and held out oh, against the mono blue deck. Woo. Very, very nice. Very nice. So let's go ahead and look at our deck. <laughs> oh, Niv Mizzet, my friend. It was so nice to see you in play. Uh, again, top 50 by Kiori. Congratulations. Um, love the version that you did and the tweaks that you made here. That we had a lot of fun. Mono Blue is still a tough, that's a really tough haul for this deck. I, I mean, either way, I, they must have gotten hosed on the shuffler or whatever, but we'll take it um, and we'll go from there. So, uh, best of one, we went two and one. Um, best of three, we went two and one also, um, and ultimately took it down. So where's this thing sit in the meta right now? Well, for one, um, it's definitely played a ton, <coughs> actually, in best of three. Um, a lot of people play it. Um, best of one, it's not played as much, but there's a, a pretty large portion of the folks that do. Um, and, and where's this sit? Honestly, um, you know, it's probably one of those like tier two, tier three decks. Um, when it connects, it connects well. Um, and I, I actually think it's probably a better uh, best of one deck, um, to be honest with the surprise and then all the stuff that you could do here. Um, you just gotta be able to take those things off the board. It's got a lot of answers for that too. So, um, and then in best of three, um, certainly you can board like we did around certain things and make it happen. That might have blew one though, man. That's That would have been tough. I'm, I'm glad that the shuffler was on our side here today. So um, I would say probably middle of tier two, to be honest, um, for both of those. Maybe tier three and best of three. Maybe, maybe. Certainly a top played deck, um, but that doesn't mean that it is the best deck just because everyone plays it uh, but this deck is a lot of fun uh, so i'm very happy that i crafted those extra two nibs there so um planeswalkers um with that if you have questions if you have comments please let me know um, down below in the details you'll also find this deck list um, and the discord information if you got questions comments come hang out flip me a like if you enjoyed the video other great ways to support the channel down below in the details appreciate the support always everyone truly um, so thank you uh, thank you youtube members thank you patrons uh, feel free to become a member down below lots of great ways for us to interact um, other content for you um, and just uh, uh, awesomeness and those kinds of things so um, with that, Planeswalkers, you stay tuned. We got more top decks coming your way. We got standard. We got more historic like this. We got a historic tier list coming. I did the standard tier list. Check it out. We got Friday Night Meta. We got Jank. We got a whole bunch of things. So, Planeswalkers, thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Until next time, you stay safe. Mithras out.